You gonna find you an airhead, Lori? everybody I hope y'all having a good day <clears throat> I had a few minutes out here this morning I was going to show y'all the equipment that I'm working with that I'm I'm using this year um, I'm hoping to have y'all some hunting videos coming out here pretty soon I've got a few <laughs> misadventures but I hadn't got all the footage that I want if that makes sense that sense um, this is my hickory bow I made this bow back in 2008 and I have really drug it through the woods. It has uh, lived a very long life, if you, if you get my drift. It has been from banged around in a flat bottom boat at night, uh, bow fishing with it, to camping for days at a time outside, and it has really taken the views. Uh, I've got just some bull snake on the front of it, uh, snake skins that I, from, from some that had messed around and got in my chicken house, and I had to had to kill I didn't want to waste the skins but it's hickory uh, the bow I'm going to say 58 inches knock to knock something like that um, when I made this bow uh, was before I had my back injury and it was when I first started wanting to hunt with, with stone points and I set it up I was a little worried about stone points I didn't know much about them you know this was back in probably about 2010 there wasn't a whole lot on the internet um, YouTube was just getting started so you really didn't see anybody else hunting with uh, the primitive equipment so I wasn't quite sure about the penetration power of the stone point so when I made this bow I made it this bow specifically to kill a deer with the stone point and I made it pulling it's um, it pulled 68 pounds at a 28 inch draw when I made it no eight now this old bow is taking some set you know it 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 it, it has uh it, it has had a hard life um i don't draw 28 inches anymore since then i draw my i have a 25 inch draw uh when i hunt i i stalk it and i'm i'm scooped over and i make a quick short snapshot when i'm hunting so my my whole archery has changed since then um and since my back injury, I can't pull 68 pounds anyway. But this bow now, um, at pulling it at uh, a 25 inch draw, with where it is now, it's pulling about 56 pounds, which is actually about what I'm looking for as far as, uh, about as much as I'm comfortable shooting now, uh, repetitively with my back being the shape it is. But um, I wanted to show you my arrow. This is, this is one of my river cane arrows that I've made. Um, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. These were made to be prototypes, but they shot and flew good. Um, obsidian point I napped. Um, I'm not going to shoot this today because this arrow is extremely sharp and I do not want to mess the edge up shooting it out here in this hay bale. Uh, the quiver I use when I'm stalking is, uh, I, it, is a Ryan Gill special. I saw his quiver and loved it. I had an old beaver quiver that was a back quiver that I fought with for years running through the woods. And I just never could understand why anybody would want a back quiver. And when I saw the plain style uh, quiver, I jumped all over. Yeah, Ryan Gill had it figured out. I mean, you know, when you're hunting on the ground, stalking, uh, this quiver is behind you. It's out of your way. You can get to your arrows easy if you're trying to make minimum uh, movements. I had a few times where I had, would make a shot at a deer in the woods and have another deer come in in and you're trying to do this getting the arrow out and just on the ground there's no way you can get an arrow out without spooking animals and with this you can you can get smaller movements and get an arrow out and be ready to shoot without making a big big scene and making a bunch of hand movements and stuff now this bow has got to it 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 is nowhere near where it was when it deals, but I still have the goal. I sat down back in 2010 when I, when I got this bow out. It was 2009, 2010 that I was 
hunt with this bow that I want to kill a, bear, bow with, a deer with a stone point. I, I have not killed a deer. I've killed a couple of hogs with stone points, but I have not killed a deer with a stone point as of the beginning of this season. So I'm really filming everything because I want to let everybody in kind of go on this journey with me. It has been something that I set to the side for a lot of years. Uh, my back was in such a shape that I couldn't even bow hunt for a while. Uh, but thankfully, the Lord has put me back together good enough. Uh, my back has been good enough that I can hunt. I've been down through almost all of gun season with my back giving me problems, but I'm actually getting back to where in the next few weeks, I'm fixing to start getting back out. Here in Arkansas, our... <laughs> Yes, sir, you tell them. Um, here in Arkansas, our deer season carries all the way through the end of February, which I usually don't hunt quite that long just because the, the deer will, camera hound, the deer will uh, uh, start shedding their horns around that time. So I just kind of start watching. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to harvest a buck that's shedding a one horned deer or anything. So I kind of watch it just go by how the deer are going that year. But, uh, that is my goal. I want to kill with a stone point on an arrow I made. This arrow is turkey feathers from, a, from wings that a buddy gave me. Um, it's all, it's straight river cane harvest off the farm on the river bottoms. Uh, true deer, deer back straps to do and a obsidian point I make myself. Uh, I've got a couple of more in here that are the backups, but that obsidian just is the sharpest point. So that's my go-to, my number one arrow that I pull out first. Do you want to get in front of the camera? Young roosters. But I was going to give a couple of shots, let you see how this bow does. It's a little twangy, it's got a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go back and, uh, and add some fever hair silencers on it in time if I keep, keep hunting with it. Uh, I've had a couple of deer jump the arrow pretty bad this year, so it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of one of them deals I'm debating on when they're doing. I'm actually fixing to set some traps out for beaver here on the place, which I'm probably going to video that too. Uh, we've had drainage problems around our place, and we've got a family of beavers that moved in. And I haven't been uh, trapping them in a few years, but they're causing grief and I'm gonna have to do something about them because they're causing water to back up on our place and everything not drain good. I'm, wet ground, if you've never had it, is not something you wanna to have to deal with. But anyway, I've run my mouth too long. Let me shoot this bow a couple times. Um, I'm gonna get a camera set up, let you see some stuff. We'll do a little shooting and, uh, and we'll wrap this video up. I didn't wanna make it too long, but this is just show you my kit. This is some arrows that I made uh, that I was actually originally hunting with. I've got uh, only two of them left with field points. The rest of them still have my metal points on them from when I was hunting with this bow before. But I use these these and just short draw them at the 25 inch draw and they're spine close enough. They fly true enough to keep me honed in for my stone points. Once I shoot, the, shoot those uh, cane arrows one time, I don't shoot them again. Once I know they're flying good, I'm I put them up because I don't want to dull those tests. But anyway, let's let's get a couple of arrows going here. And uh, this old girl don't have quite the snap she did, but you know, I don't either, so I can't be too mad at it. But uh, it's it's a, got a little bit of a loudness to it, but it's not super.
that's about all I normally shoot. I just come out, I usually fling a few arrows. If I'm hitting close on like that, then I'm, I'm, I'm dialed in. So I don't, I, I shoot bare fingered. So as, if I don't have to shoot any more than what I have to, then uh, as long as I know I'm dialed in, I'm just gonna wear my fingers out, just keeping on shooting. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's not much, just a tidbit of some things to come. Uh, y'all have a great new year and God bless.